Glub, 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 glub. <sighs> okay, so today, again, we're looking at the chocolate sombrero, which is a Mexican-style chocolate stout, which I have no idea what that means. But, Corey, why don't you let us know what Clown Shoes has to say about this? Right, because I'm pretty sure I don't know what that means either. I mean, I have a whole bunch of ideas, but who really knows? Uh, what they say is it's a roasted dark malt, plus some chocolate malts, plus ancho chilies, plus cinnamon, plus vanilla extract, plus chocolate-loving, beer-drinking clown shoes wearing multi-limbed, gorgeous, and glorious Mexican wrestler on the label. That's a recipe for a chocolate sombrero. I mean, if you can't tell, uh, clown shoes like to have a lot of fun with their beers. They, they, I don't think they take themselves all too seriously, which you know makes them a little more admirable in my eyes. They had uh, one of my favorite beer labels of all time with the Genghis Pecan, which is a pecan porter, and it was Genghis Khan throwing pecan pies at turkeys. Yeah. <laughs> it made no sense, but I thought it was hilarious. The thing with clown shoes is that if you've heard of them, it's probably because they got in some hot water over their labels. Uh, and I mentioned this in my review, uh, but it's worth mentioning again that there are people out there who take life too seriously. <laughs> and uh, we live in this world where you have to be politically correct and you can't offend anybody and everyone gets a trophy and you can't hurt anyone's feelings. So they got in trouble because their labels tend to be hilarious. <laughs> and by hilarious, I mean making fun of people, you know, right. or just exaggerating on features. I think the one they got in trouble with was, uh, and I forget the name of the beer, but it had a guy, a tin man, like from Wizard of Oz, mm -hmm. uh, getting oiled up, getting lubed up, and there was a girl there, and I don't know, somebody got really upset about it and right. put him on blast, but I say keep going for it because it's entertaining, and, uh, you know, it's just, you know, when you're at the grocery store, a lot of people looking for beer shop on labels, yeah, whether they should or shouldn't. Say. I mean, they just... It's all marketing, and it's getting you to stop. I mean, I talked about that with my Lagunitas uh, Censored, and I walked by, and I was like, I wonder why that beer's so censored. i got to give it a try. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's one of those things where those the labels grab you, it brings you in, and then you just end up liking the beer as well. And yeah. I, I'm thinking this is going to be kind of the same way. Yeah, and in the same vein, a, a bad label can throw you off. Yeah. I walked by Bell's Too Hearted for months because it's a fish. <laughs> it's yeah. a boring fish. And when you think of fish, you don't think of beer. You think of just a bad seafood taste. And I just walked by because, I mean... There's this, yeah, and then there's a fish, right. and I walk by the fish, and I pick this, which might not be right, it might not be smart, but it is true, yeah. And so I say, keep coming out with good labels. But beyond all that, let's dive into this thing and let you know what we think of the chocolate sombrero. All right, guys. So you know that we enjoy clown shoes as a company, but let's take a look at the chocolate sombrero. Yeah. I mean, this thing pours just like motor oil. I mean, it is jet black, yep. it is thick, it's got a little carbonation around the outside, you know, nice tan, thin head though, not too much to it. No, but it's got a nice little lacing there. Yeah. Absolutely. But he's right, it's completely opaque, about, yeah, motor oil consistency, <laughs> just about how I think a stout should look, so. Yeah. In that department, good job. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, take a whiff of this and uh, check out the smell on this. Yeah. Some chocolate, chocolate and booze. Yep, chocolate right off the front. Yep, right. Same thing. Exactly what I'm getting. Chocolate and alcohol. Heavy. Yeah, heavy alcohol. I don't know. I haven't checked out the uh, percentage. Nine, nine percent by volume. So makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, I'm hoping that it's balanced. Yeah. Because I mean, I, from what I can tell, I don't think it's you know barrel aged or anything. So I'm hoping they found a good. Yeah, there's a little vanilla in there too. Um, some some sweetness, some you know dark malt sweetness, some roastiness, some uh, burnt flavors in there. Yeah. It's actually a lot of nice aromas. It's, it's yeah, it smells really wine. good. I mean, the alcohol. It, it I think it adds to it. Yeah. It's not like a detractor in any way. Mm -hmm. uh, well, actually, after the first whiff, it kind of went away for me. The more I put my nose into it, the less I smell it. The more I get all those other notes, which is really really fun. Yeah, just lots of different chocolates. Uh, Bitter, dark chocolate, but yeah. I mean, even a there's a milk Almost. chocolate to it. I mean, it, it smells really good. Yeah, it does. Almost not quite licorice -y, but kind of. I mean, just like that dark sweetness, you know? It, it, it's intriguing. Okay, well, based on that, I want to hop right, right into it. it. Yeah. So let's, uh, it. let's take a taste. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers.
Oh wow. You know, I get more chili than I thought I would. Uh, yeah, there's some initial chocolate. Actually, it's, it's hitting me in a wave, so it's kind of hard to speak right after I take a drink of that. But chili right up front, get a little bit of chocolate afterwards, and then some, some roasted malt, some nice dark, you know, roasted grain type flavors coming in at the end. That yeah. is really complex and really nice. Yeah, you know, um, if you've been keeping up with our videos, yeah. you know that we did one of the Stone Epic Verticals that was a chili beer, and that one did not hit a home run. I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't a home run. Um, I think we had like a B grade yeah. on it. Um, but then we had that Mango Magnifico chili beer that, that did not <laughs> do it for us. So yeah. we've been a little bit skittish on these chili things, but this one... I almost one, didn't want to even do this beer, to be honest, because yeah, of that. Yeah, but this one I think does it right. Right, this is... I mean, it's well balanced. And like I said, I love the fact that it hits you in waves because not, not enough beers do that, you know. And that's always just kind of a fun journey to go on. And the aftertaste is really smoky and just beautiful. Yeah, if somebody offered you a chocolate covered chili. You might not, <laughs> you might not eat it. But the way the chocolate kind of pairs with like the subtle heat, this is pretty good. I'm, yeah. I'm actually really happy about it. Very um, impressed. Man, that is good. I mean, all that comes together. There's the chocolate with the 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 the, the chili, and I'm guessing the, yeah. the the cinnamon's there to kind of accent that a little bit. Yeah, a little maybe spicy just not, bite to yeah, it. Not very apparent. But the vanilla, and like I had hoped, the alcohol is very much in balance. Right, and I I mean I didn't even get any no. alcohol flavors on that, which is nice because I mean you get that aroma, but when you don't taste it, that's really what you're looking for. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. All right, well, guys, I gotta tell you, this is a big, big two thumbs up, four oh, thumbs yeah. up probably. And uh, Corey, yeah. run me through what's going through your head here. I mean, I, I kind of said while we did a little cut out there that I, I don't want this to end. You know, it's one of those beers that you just keep drinking, and you just keep finding more things, and it's really complex and it's sweet, but it's also got a little heat to it. It's got some smoke. I mean, it is just really, really good, well balanced, like you said. What are you gonna um, give it? I mean, this can't be less than an A, 95A, can't be less than that. I mean, it's right up there with some of the better stouts I've had, some of the better, you know, dark beers. Um, and just like I said, the terms of complexity and just all the cool different flavors they put into it, it's it's kind of like a wild ride when you when you drink it. But this is unlike anything that I've had before. Yeah. I mean, it's completely different, which is so hard to do anymore with craft beer, mm -hmm. to, to do something completely different. And, you know, there are other chili beers like we said and they're probably I mean I know for a fact there's other chili stouts but yeah. this one just it's different it's yeah. really well done and I'm right with you I'm gonna give this like a an A a solid A 94 95 I mean I don't really know what else I can improve I guess the only the only critique that I might have is that it's a little boozy on the nose but at 9% you're gonna have that <laughs> yeah. I think they play it safe on this label unless you're one of the people <laughs> who's going to get offended by you know by the mexican four, thing four, four legged sombrero mexican wrestler yeah unless you get offended by that you're going to be okay yeah i think it's a really good beer i mean they're new to ohio being distributed i know they're a massachusetts beer and uh they're they're fairly new to be distributed here i think in december so we only got them for about two months here and yeah. uh from what i've had so far between the Genghis pecan and the mexican stout i like the fun twist they're putting on beers yeah that gang is pecan the porter, but I like what they're doing. I think that they're doing, uh, you know, they're they're going experimental, but not getting weird. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. So I mean, I'm glad we had it. I'm glad you uh, tuned in. Again, you can find us all over the web: Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check into our RSS feed and all that good stuff. We're all over the place. Just check us out, follow us, and keep up with what's going on. And uh, we're always going to be here. Uh, try and give you the best brew reviews possible. Yeah, thank uh, you again for showing up. Yep, and with that in mind, this has been another episode of the Brew Review Crew, where we'll review a brew for you. Cheers. Cheers.